Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to remove those pesky little watermarks from the DID videos. So let me go ahead and drop this video into our timeline, and we'll change the sequence settings to match the video that we put in. So you can see that we have this AI watermark in the bottom left corner. So how are we going to get rid of it? Well, one thing we can do that would be bad quality is you just scale up the image and then it crops it out. But that's not ideal because obviously you start losing quality when you do that. Uh, the other thing that you can do is I have the actual still. So this is the image still that we used before we animated it. And what I can do is I will drop it right on top of the video. So you can see we have the image on top of the video. And if I toggle the, the eyeball here, you can see that we have image and video. Now the image is a little bit bigger than the actual video. So you can right click and go to set to frame size. Now if we turn it on and off, you can see that it's the exact same dimensions. So now all you actually need to do, if you have the image selected, is go to your effects controls panel here. And there's this little tool that's a pin. And the pin basically is allowing you to create a mat. And a mat basically allows you to cut out certain objects from your scene. So if you go to this drop down menu here in the, in the left side, you can go to 50% and that'll make your uh, video frame a little bit smaller. And you basically can click and create just kind of a rough shape in the corner here and then click away and now if we change this to fit it'll kind of scale it up a little bit so now you can see that this part is the only part of the image that's still there the rest of it is completely transparent and revealing the video that's underneath so now if we play it as an ai i might not possess biological life but i do demonstrate a complex level of response and adaptability that resembles a form of cognitive life moreover if we def so that's pretty cool, right? That did a pretty good job, and I would be pretty happy with the results uh, from this. Now, another thing that you can do is use Runway's in-painting tool for actual video. So this technique would be very helpful if the watermark was over moving footage. So if, like, this background was moving, for example, and we needed to remove the watermark that was, like, over the background, we would use this in-painting tool. Uh, so I'm going to hop over there to Runway, and let's go to the Video tab here and select the in-painting screen, so we'll select that. And we need to upload the footage, so you can just click Upload and select the footage. I've actually already imported it into Runway here, uh, so I'm going to go down here and drag and drop it into our timeline. And you can see the footage is in here. So what I'm going to do is actually just paint over uh, this AI watermark here, and I'm going to change my brush size to make it a little bit bigger. And let's just get rid of the watermark and click away. Okay, great. And let's go ahead and preview. Cool. So the watermark is now removed. Now, we would obviously want to download this footage and even inside of Premiere Pro right now. Uh, this footage, because DID only exports at 720p at the time of this recording, you'll want to up-res it to a higher quality video. And to do that, um, I would recommend using Topaz Video AI. Again, that tool does cost a little bit of money. Uh, it's a little bit on the expensive side. Uh, but if you plan on making a lot of these AI projects, I would recommend uh, downloading that and subscribing to the tool. So you can essentially up res this video from the 720p format to, you know, all the way up to like 4K, for example, uh, so that the video is just super high quality and retains all of that awesome detail.